Yeah, before I get on to the match review, yes, there is sellotape on my glasses. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to buy new ones tomorrow when I get paid because, uh, yeah, they broke. They literally split down the middle, so I look even more stupider than usual. But anyway, uh, the Milan game, actually a phenomenal game for a change. Like in the pre-season, the, the previous two have been absolutely dreadful to watch. Particularly the first half was extremely entertaining. Um, Alexis Sanchez, he looks incredible this uh, pre-season. And, you know, the fact he didn't go to the World Cup, he's had a break for the first time in like 10, 12 years, is doing him wonders. Like some of the touches, the little flicks, the passes, the interchanges were fantastic. He almost scored a scorpion kick as well in the game. Um, but yeah, uh, it's the odd goal. Brilliant header from McTominay, lovely one-touch uh, pass by Juan Mata to play it through to Sanchez, who's uh, well, just slots it away. Nice, easy. Uh, but unfortunately, two minutes later, uh, Milan find a lovely ball in behind, and kind of like Sanchez's run, it you know the the player Suso has found some space and uh, manages to put it in with a really nice finish. After that, there were a lot of chances. Uh, we had one with uh, Luke Shaw. He, he's been so unlucky. Five years at United, he's had, well, this is his fifth season. He's had a number of like really, really close um, efforts at goal. Things that have been saved or blocked on the line, etc. He still hasn't scored for us. But, um, yeah, he came close in this game. As I say, Alexis Sanchez almost scored a scorpion kick. Um, there was a couple of others. Uh, Herrera had a, a chance where he probably should have put it in. Um, McTominay had a, a chance as well. Uh, Milan had a few. Uh, Suso looked really, really threatening. Uh, Crouton, I think, uh, the striker. But all in all, probably a deserved result at the end of the day. Like, uh, the first half was better for United, the second half better for Milan, and then that penalty shootout. Absolutely madness. 26 penalties in total. Uh, obviously, we won 9 8. Some brilliant penalties, though, um, from people you wouldn't expect, like uh, Twanza Bays. Uh, penalty was brilliant. Uh, obviously, Herrera, Pereira's penalties were great. They took two apiece. Uh, it, it was just, it was just a fun game. Like this was a preseason game where you know the, the result doesn't really matter. It's all about the performance, and we actually performed um, a lot better than we have in the other two games. And you know, twenty eight shots or thirty shots, I think combined for each team. Um, I think roundabout level. I think we might have had a couple of more shots, but yeah, really, really good. And uh, it's nice to see. And then we've got other players coming in. Uh, Fred, obviously, uh, Matic, who was on the bench. Uh, I, I haven't actually like checked articles or anything, but uh, I don't know. Apparently, there's some injury concern or something. I don't know if that's real or not. Um, I, as I say, I just briefly saw it. Uh, the reason this review's late, um, I tried to stay up uh, yesterday. I was drinking with mates, and uh, yeah, I ended up falling asleep. So I woke up, watched the full match, um, when I was sober and yeah uh, I enjoyed it as I say a couple of other notes as well um, it, it's fantastic it really is um, Manchester United earlier today posted a video uh, that Sir Alex Ferguson uh, had took and yeah it's brilliant to see him in full health well almost full health you know recovering really really well um, nice to see him and uh, yeah I just wish him all the best like it, it's phenomenal that he's came through what he has and uh, yeah I, I and obviously the rest of the world were extremely worried because uh, it's a very se uh, serious thing a brain hemorrhage but yeah thankfully you know legend pulling through it's going to be nice to see him uh, watching United again this season uh, and then a bit of transfer news for a change uh, we are heavily linked to Harry Maguire I really don't care what we pay I think a, a lot of people don't want him because he, he's not like you know the, the biggest name or whatever he's had a really really good world cup but um people want like big names personally for me if we sign toby Al alderweire toby alderweire or harry Maguire, i'll be happy with that center back spot because they're both well they're not they're not really similar but they've got attributes that are kind of similar uh, to each other like they can both play out from the back they are both deadly when it comes to corners and set pieces and that's something we need uh, we lack that at United's uh, threat from set pieces and positionally they're both really good obviously Maguire lacks a little bit of pace but our other centre backs like whichever partners him hopefully by Lindelof if of course he transfers um, will be able to make up for his uh, slight lack of pace but um, 
yeah, I'd be happy with it. And personally, I don't really care about the fee. It's ridiculous the fees these days. Um, and yeah, you've just got to buy. You've got to pay what the other club wants to get your player. Ultimately, like if you don't pay, you don't get the player. And you know when goalkeepers are going for sixty-seven million, centre backs for seventy-five million, full backs for fifty million, midfielders for ninety million, attackers for two hundred million. You know it, it's just a crazy market. So I I really don't care what the fees. But we do need a right wing, and we are being linked with Rebic, who I know is a left wing, but plays very very well as a right wing. Unlike some in our squad who tend to not enjoy playing other positions, he's, he's multifunctional and uh, I think he could do a great job for us at right wing. So if we manage to get him and uh, Maguire or Alderweireld, I'd be happy, I'd be content with this window. I still think we need a left back. I think Lucho's done really well in this preseason. He didn't really have a great game against San Jose, but he was better in this game. And obviously Club America, he was uh, one of our better performers there. But I, I just worry um, because of his injury record uh, and Young being 34 this year, turning 34, you know, we don't really have a lot of depth, so we could really use a left back, but it doesn't look as though that's going to happen. It looks as though right wing and centre back are the only two positions we can potentially hope for in this transfer window. But anyway, as I say, Milan game was great. Um, we got two points from it, as that's how the International Champions Cup works. In a penalty shootout, the winner gets two points and uh, the loser gets one point and obviously if you win in normal time you get three so next game against Liverpool uh, hopefully we'll see Fred and Matic play some part of that uh, possibly De Gea as well I think he's back soon Lindelof is another candidate to potentially uh, have some minutes as well but we'll see and uh, yeah hopefully we can perform like we did in this game except win it because it's Liverpool